I think I was single all the times that I froze my eggs. And I did it for the same reason why I think most women do it today. And that is because, you know, I was single. I was what, where, when, how. I have this huge list of things that I want to do. But then at the same time, I'm like, how am I going to find time to then find Mr. Right and then have a baby at the same time? Freezing my eggs just gave me a peace of mind. It gave me that sense of just, I could breathe a little bit and now just focus on meeting the right person. Elective egg freezing will be an option for women in Singapore. Previously, the procedure was only available for women with medical issues that might affect their fertility. From July 1st, women aged 21 to 37 can store their eggs, allowing them to later try for a baby through in vitro fertilization or IVF. So how does the egg freezing process work? First, the woman needs to undergo a cycle of IVF to collect her eggs. Starting from day two of her period, she will receive injections for a hormone that stimulates egg production. This goes on for two weeks. She also has to come in every few days for ultrasounds and blood tests to ensure her follicles, which house the eggs, are growing. It would be good to have at least 20 eggs in order that one of these 20 eggs can produce a pregnancy. On the average, we get 10 to 15 follicles. We may get about seven or eight eggs. In that scenario, you may need about two or three times to get 20 eggs. Once the eggs are mature, the woman receives a final trigger injection. 36 hours later, she's ready for egg retrieval. This is done under anesthesia, where the doctor uses a needle to suck out the follicles, and they are sent to the laboratory. Under a microscope, an embryologist identifies the eggs, washes and places them inside culture media. They are put in an incubator for about two hours. When they are taken out, the cells around the egg are stripped away. This is where the actual egg freezing comes in, also known as vitrification. Cryoprotectants are added to remove water and prevent ice crystals from forming, which will damage the egg. The eggs are stored in huge tanks of liquid nitrogen at negative 196 degrees Celsius until further use. We need to have a team of very committed people uh, with very good psychomotor skills. We are accountable for every egg, every embryo of the patient. And the very least we can do is make sure that we keep the specifications and the parameters optimum for good embryo quality. Egg freezing is currently open to both single and married women. However, only legally married couples can use their frozen eggs to try for a baby. The woman's egg will be fertilized with her husband's sperm through IVF. The procedure costs approximately $10,000 for one cycle and comes with its own risks. But it can act as a form of insurance for those who want to have children in the future. The number one advice will be do it early. Because when you do it early, the chances of getting more eggs and better quality eggs are higher.